Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to create this really cool interactive presentation using Morph Transition and Hyperlinks. It's a simple trick that can make your slides pop. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. First, let's clean up our slide. Select everything using Control A and delete it. Now we'll give it a nice gradient background. Right click on the slide, go to the format background pane, choose gradient fill. Change the type to radial and pick a direction you like. Then change each gradient stops color to one that matches your theme. We're going with a dark purple, a bright red, and a sunny yellow. Adjust the position of the stops to get the look you want. Next, we'll add a dynamic pie chart. Go to Insert Chart Pie and Donut Pie. A small window with an Excel sheet will pop up. Since your chart is linked to this sheet, any changes you make to the values will reflect in the chart. We want the pie chart to have four equal slices, so let's go ahead and change the values to 25 for each. Now, let's make it a bit more interesting. In the Format Data Series pane on the right, go to Series Options and change the donut hole size to 50%. Then, go ahead and close the Excel window. Now, select the pie chart, right-click it, and click Save as Picture in the menu that pops up. Let's rename it, and for the type it needs to be saved as Select Scalable Vector Graphics. That's right, we're turning this into an SVG to have some more fun with it. Now, delete the original chart. Then, go to Insert, Pictures, and from this device, select the SVG and add it. Now, convert it to a shape. Right-click on the pie chart and select Convert to Shape. Now, in the same menu, go to Group Options and ungroup the shape so we can work with them. Make the shape smaller and reposition it towards the side of the slide. In the Shape Format menu, change the height and width of the shape to 7.75 centimeters. Let's ungroup the different bits of this shape further. Now, in the Format Shape pane, under Fill Options, pick Slide Background Fill. Then, let's add an inner shadow to the chart. Make it white with a blur of 15 points and a distance of 6 points. To add a focal point, let's insert a circle and change its length and breadth to 3.15 centimeters. Make its outline white and pick slide background fill for the shape. Apply the same white inner shadow with blur set to around 25 points. Now we'll create the year indicators. Insert a rectangle, change it to white and remove its outline. Change the transparency. Add in a rectangle with rounded corners below it. Let's pick a light gray shade for this one. Now go to the Insert tab and add a text box. Type in the year and pick a modern font. We're going with Poppins. Make the font size larger and bold. Rotate it 90 degrees like this and position right along the edge of the rectangle. Change the color of text. Now let's add some visual interest with progress circles. Insert a circle with 2.75 cm as its size. 
add a gradient fill to it. Remove its outline, duplicate it using Control D and make the copy smaller. We make this copy white and move it to the center of the bigger circle. Select both circles and align them to the center and middle. Group these using Control G and make two copies of the group using Control D. Select all three groups of shapes and arrange them within the lower rectangle. Distribute them horizontally. Ungroup all three circles. Now select all the elements except the pie chart. Duplicate it and place the copies right above the slide. The select all the elements except the pie chart and duplicate these, placing them right above the previous set of copied shapes. Make sure your copies are perfectly in line with each other. Let's change the years on the copied versions. We're going with 2022, 2023, and 2024. Now duplicate the slide thrice. Add in any text you might want on each slide. We're going with a title, overview, and three key points. On the second slide, zoom out and select all the shapes and text other than the pie chart. Drag it down so a different year's content is now visible. Repeat these steps for all the remaining slides. You can preview the slideshow to make sure the position of the elements is identical on all slides. Now, let's bring it all together with Morph Transition. Select all the slides and go to Transitions. Choose Morph. Let's see how it looks. Just the timing and effect as you like. Go back to the first slide and copy all the text you've added. Paste this onto the copied versions above and make changes to the text as needed. Select all text added and copy it using Control C. On the following slides, paste this text using Control V and position it to match the years. Once you have the content properly positioned on all the slides, Go to Insert and Add Icons to represent each key point. You can also use PowerPoint's library of icons if you don't have any saved. Let's make a copy of the pie chart of the first slide. Pick the top right quarter of it and use Shape Fill to make it white. 
change the outline to white to match the original pie chart. Add an outer white shadow to make this section seem lit up. Position this pie chart right on top of the original one. Place an icon in each quarter of the pie chart as well. Change their color to white. Copy and paste these onto the other three slides. Burn each slide, rotate the pie chart 90 degrees. Now, link each quarter of the pie chart to the corresponding slide by clicking on it and pressing Ctrl-K. Select the corresponding slide and apply. Repeat these steps for the remaining slides as well. And there you have it. A dynamic, eye-catching presentation using the round morph transition. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Uplift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.